Well, somebody has been rather egregiously bothering me, asking me what I'm doing for some hours now, so uh, this is just a little bit of what I'm up to today. I am making some sauerkraut. I have some more of this in a bowl that I'm going to fill these jars now that this is compacted down a little bit. Uh, my neighbor brought me three bags of grapes uh, because he had gotten a whole case, um, brought me um, a bag of nectarines. I'm going to go to try to sprout these seeds later. And then also a big bag of apples. And I still have um, a whole thing of grapes, a whole bag of grapes. They're green grapes um, in the fridge, but I wasn't going to be eating them all and I'm kind of tight on fridge space. So I've just been baking these grapes. Okay. So they're kind of like, um, they're not super duper duper dried out yet, but they're kind of caramelized because I didn't put them on the dehydrator. Mm. Ooh, they're still really hot. But um, what I'm going to be doing with these is, so these, the way they are, will not last very long. Like even in the fridge, they won't last all that long. So what I'm gonna be doing, I just pull these out of the oven. I'm gonna let them cool down a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do, I need, I need to keep them from sticking. I'm gonna be sprinkling sugar over all of them and then mixing it in a whole bunch of sugar, okay? <laughs> and it's kind of an experiment because I wanna see how well they last if they're just completely coated in sugar. And then when I want to use them, let's say I wanna use them in like some oatmeal cookies later, then I'll just see if I can shake some of the extra sugar off. Um, so my raspberry leaves that I got from um, trimming back the raspberries and on the side of the garage that I'm um, painting, I went ahead and um, they've started to dry a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and put them on here because I want them to dry all the way. So it's been taking me a while. I've literally just been picking raspberry leaves off the stems for like, I don't know, maybe the past hour and a half or something. I don't even know how long it's been, but I've been listening to country music and it's been a good time. Um, so I also took some of the fresh grapes and what I did is I packed them in a salt brine and this has got the spring is down in there and it's just really compacted. Um, so this is not gonna be like fruit cocktail preserved grapes. It, it, it's not anything like that. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna let them ferment down and it's in a pretty salty brine and this is gonna be something that I can like um, take some out, smash them up, and use them as like a, almost like a sauce type of thing on top. Of, and then I can like add more stuff to it later. Um, a sauce like on top of like, um, you know, chicken or um, on top of a hamburger, like a pub style hamburger, like homemade. Because um, it's going to be, it's going to be lacto fermented. So it's going to get a little bit acidic. Some people don't know that ketchup was originally lacto fermented, even though now they just make it artificially. So these are going to be lacto fermented for more like umami style things. So it's going to be a little bit of a salty sweet thing that I can put up on there. Um, I've, I've never actually lacto fermented grapes like this before in a salt brine. Depending on whether or not I eat all those grapes in the fridge, I might pack some of those in a syrup. Um, because since I am going to be starting to grow more grapes and I don't want to be just depending on jamming, like turning stuff into jams and stuff like that for preserves, I'm just like trying some different stuff basically just because I feel like it and because I can. So anyway, so that person who has been really egregiously harassing me for like, I don't know, how long has it been now? Like four hours? Please stop. Okay. This is, this is what I'm up to. It's not exciting. Anyways, just take it easy, y'all.